Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here. Back with another video, and I was on YouTube watching a video of my friend Mike from Simply Your Device, and he just got a new Mac Mini M1. Well, now he's been an Android user and a Windows user for ages. So switching over to the Mac, it can be a bit overwhelming and the transition can be a bit difficult now like me he creates content so i'm creating this video so as to show you everybody including mike that how do i edit my videos in i movie so here it is this is i movie now this is your library and this is my movie first thing i do is i go into file and i say import media then i go to the folder wherein i have all the files which i need to edit so in my case it is in a folder called youtube videos which i think is self-explanatory and then i have specific folders which i have created so this one here let us say i have some samsung content to shoot so it is in the how to folder and then here it is so these are the two files which i need now these here are mp4 files which have been recorded using my lg smartphone so i'm going to select this and say import media now these two files are showing up over here similarly i have my green screen for the subscribe thing i also have an image so you can add images as well next thing i add them over here so this is my timeline and you can scroll through it like this then let us say you want to overlay content you can have multiple tracks so if you want and i drag this to the bottom this can be my audio and using this line if i move it up or down i can actually mute this and the bottom track will be used as my audio so those are things which i can do if needed similarly if you want to overlay content then you can move this to the top here and this can be your overlaid content with audio being used from here so those are all the things which you can do now a pretty important keyboard shortcut which i personally use is command b so i tap over here and you see this yellow line show up if i do command b here it is going to cut it out i select this press the delete on my keyboard and bam that is now deleted and of course command z is for undo so let us delete this part Similarly, you can see that over here towards the end of my videos, because I'm shooting my videos in parts, I leave some space or some muted part wherein I'm not saying anything. Why do I do that? Well, so I leave like at least one a second over here and then delete this part. And similarly, I go to the other part delete this one and then on the top you can go into transitions and if you drag and drop this transition over here now you're moving over from one clip to the other is not something abrupt there is a transition there so you can preview it over here on the top right so there it is you can see this is the transition similarly this is in yellow right now press the delete it is gone if you want a ripple effect you can do that as well there it is these are the different effects which you can add similarly if you go into titles so if you want to say add any text you know you want to pass on any message you forgot something while you were recording you can do that these are your different options so here it is it will display for 20.1 seconds and you can just double tap on it then go here everything is highlighted and selected type in whatever you want to and then if you select this by double clicking it you can change the font the size and if you tap on this white thing it will show up the color palette you can change the color to whatever you want to let us say you want red you do that close it and bam there it is you can see that you now have a red text over here so these are titles again you have a bunch of different options for your titles as well then 
in case you want to say transition or have an overlay so that is what we were talking about earlier so i'll show you with this thing so this is the green screen thing which i use you can use it as an overlay on top of your video as well if you're using voiceover you can have your volume track over here at the bottom so you select this one and then on the top you have different options so if you select cut away it's going to use the whole screen if you do split screen then you can see that the video which i selected is on the left and the one on the bottom is on the right then you can also do a picture in picture if you want to so that is another way and this is the transition effect which you will have so you want dissolve zoom or swap now with split screen if you want to move this to the right these are your options you can move it to the right or if you want the top and bottom style you have that option as well then if you do green screen so you will notice that it detected the green part and it removed it but even then you have this border over here so what do you do you use the cleanup part select the eraser select here and bam you can see that the little bit of hazy white thing has now disappeared and this is how the final thing looks like pretty cool right so basic stuff very easy to do in iMovie similarly if you want to add a picture so this is something which I do so this is the picture which I have created with a transparent background this is actually a PNG so for the picture also you can do the same thing you can do it split screen you can do it picture in picture you can do a green or a blue screen and the other thing is if you go into this option over here you can actually do a full fit or do you want to crop it or do you want the ken burns effect i'll talk more about the ken burns effect right after this so if you do fit and then we can do picture in picture so here it is i can now have the whole picture and it will appear on the top right so you can actually move it to wherever you want to i generally set it to top right and this is the final product now on the picture you see these sliders so that is something which gives it that fading effect if you remove those sliders to like zero 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 seconds right then it shows up abruptly and disappears abruptly so just slide it over a little to make it a smooth transition wherein it appears and then gradually disappears without the abrupt ending and abrupt beginning now let us talk about the ken burns effect so let us say i want to do the ken burns effect on this image so for starters you need to decide how do you want it i generally do it on cutaways or picture in picture then you go into the ken burns effect now by default this start thing is highlighted however if you tap here you can customize the end part also let us start with the start thing so this will be our starting point and for our ending point let us say we want the whole image to show up that's it so now if i go back here and try to preview it you will see that it is appearing appearing and bam there it is that is a pretty cool looking effect similarly if you want to do this for your any other image you can do that as well and you can do it for videos also so let us take this piece of video and then we can cut out some of it something which we don't need we minimize this over here and then let us say i want the ken burns effect on this so starting is all of it and then eventually i want it to end over here on this part so there it is and now when i am doing my thing there it is you can see this is the ken burns effect in the building similarly you know big youtubers they have fancy cameras red cameras mkbhds or mr mobiles well you don't necessarily have to do it like that you can do it like this also on an image and then it might seem that you have a fancy camera but again this is like the cheap a roll b roll which iMovie can do and once you're done with everything you can customize the audio as well so what i do is i press command a and make sure that everything is highlighted once everything is selected that means you have the yellow borders around everything you can go here on this graph here and you can actually reduce the background noise so i generally keep it 
100% reduced. Then I go into the audio section and I reduce the volume a little bit so that it does not hurt your ears. And then I select auto over here so that it's not like some part is low volume, some part is high volume. It just helps the viewer in not having to adjust their headphone volume a lot. So these are another two things which I generally do. Now another thing which generally comes in very handy is if you want to show up something like fast forwarded, right? So let us do this, command B, mute the volume and then right click on it and say show speed editor. Then you get this editor and you can actually compress it to any size which you want to for any duration and bam here it is that clip is now like four seconds so from 32.4 you can actually bring it down to maybe like even half a second if you want to and now this will show up like fast forwarded style once you're done happy with your results command a select everything and then on the top right this is your export option i say export file and give it the name the description the tags format of course we want audio and video resolution choose whatever you want to quality i keep it high and for compress i do it better quality takes longer but again the quality is better and then select next and it will be exported and saved now once the export is done because macs inherently have low internal disk space like it's not affordable and economical for everybody to buy a one db ssd on your mac so i perform some cleanup activities as well so i select everything in this timeline again command a press the delete button on the keyboard it is deleted from the timeline but it is still loaded in your imovie library and it is taking up space because it is taking up space in the folder where you have it and then in the iMovie library as well. So select this, select both the files and then right click on them and say delete media from event. Once I select delete, you will notice that my trash will have these two files. So delete, bam, there it is. Trash was empty. Now trash has these two files. In my library, I only keep the things which I use in every video. So I use this image in every video this image in every video and this subscribe thing in every video that's it everything else i keep my imovie library as empty then go ahead and quit your imovie and once you've quit imovie right click on the trash and say empty it but before that let me show you so these are the files here in the trash and these very files are still present in the how to folder there it is so you can see that they take up space in the imovie library as well so i'll delete them from here because i still have them over here and that's it peeps that is how i edit my videos in imovie